Hi, this is Brock. I'm out here at my first rental property that I did a walkthrough on yesterday. After we took ownership yesterday. And so I've already found some pretty major problems. They say you should always expect to find problems. And this was a very inexpensive house. We only paid $14,000 for it. And uh, it had a recent sale just before this where they had an appraisal. And so we didn't get one. And I thought I had buckling siding, but it turns out it's the actual wall that's buckling and we may have to do some reframing. I'll start showing you the house. The first thing I found is uh, the electrical is not up to code. We have a 60 amp service. It needs to be upgraded at least to 100 amp. Then here's where the wall's buckling. Get at an angle, see if you can see it. Honestly, it's a little worse than it looks in this. It's at the bottom, about a third of the length of the house is bowing out. So we knew we had a major issue with the floor being unlevel. And as we've just started to work on it, it looks like this. There's a few spots down the center of the house that they have actually raised, went underneath and raised. So it's a lot lower down here and it's lower over there. It's just high in the middle. And I think that contributed to this wall bowing out. So we've cut back under it. They've put sheetrock over the, the old plaster boards. And as we busted that out, it's probably hard to see there, but the base of the wall is leaning out so I think what we're gonna have to do is cut all the sheetrock off of this wall in this room and this room and then reframe so we'll have to brace the ceiling up so I'm not a construction expert so I'm gonna get a lot of opinions but we're gonna do some of this work ourselves so it's always disappointing to realize you have more problems they had a uh, baseboard over this I think actually this area you could see they had taped up between the floor and the baseboard but I thought that was to stop a small draft turns out there was a big gap there now we cut a hole here that we're gonna we're gonna cut out some weak spots in the floor um, replace that and we're gonna try to reframe the outside wall um, there are two spots, one on this side of the house and one on the other that were like that. This all had carpet over it, so you couldn't tell it was like that in here. Um, anyway, so I just, you're always going to find things like this, but I think at 14000 this is still going to be something that I can get fixed and still have a cash flowing property. So if you've ever seen anything like this or dealt with it before, let me know.